despite the center's notification, now we are understanding the documentary, in fact, is being screened at the Trivandrum Law College. As I pointed out, even in Kerala, as we were discussing earlier, you have organizations like the DYFI, the SFI and the Youth Congress who wanted to go forward with the screening of this BBC documentary. And now we are understanding this particular documentary is now being screened at the Trivandrum Law College. We are already seeing a lot of reactions coming in from the BJP who are saying this is just another way to create unrest on the ground. But let me just talk to you about the reasons that in fact have been given by the center of uh, why they've decided to block this documentary. Now they've gone on to say that this decision in fact was taken after consultation between multiple ministers. The decisions taken under emergency powers of IT rules 2021 and this is important to note the documentary is found to be malicious propaganda and lacked objectivity. More importantly Lacked credibility, question authority of India's Supreme Court can inflame passions, division between community. And despite all of this, we now have the documentary that is being screened at a Trivandrum Law College. This is after the center blocked the access and I pointed out the reasons that have been given by the center as well. There is screening that is happening at a college in Trivandrum. This is the Trivandrum Law College. As I pointed out, Centre has been very, very clear that this is a documentary that is propaganda, it lacks credibility, can inflame passions and potentially also poses problems for law and order situation. Then why are we seeing various organisations or even colleges go forward with the screening of this documentary? We just got you that tweet of the BGP president in Kerala also heat out at the CPIM. But first, let's really understand what's happening at the Trivandrum Law College. Neetu, how is the screening even happening despite the Centre's notification? Neetu, can you hear me? Okay, we'll try and reestablish that connection with my colleague Neetu. But as I pointed out, despite the center being very clear as to why this documentary needs to be blocked, we are seeing this documentary, in fact, being screened at the Trivandrum Law College. As I pointed out, we'd also got new reactions of various organizations like the SFI and the DFI who've gone on to say that they do want to screen the documentary because this is their mark of protest. I believe my colleague Neetu is now back with us. Neetu, as I was saying, despite the center being very clear of what this documentary represents, I'm now understanding that this documentary, in fact, is being screened at the Trivandrum Law College. How is that even happening? Yes, we are at the Trivandrum Law College, the Barton Hill Law College here in Tiruvananthapuram. And inside this room, we can see that the screening is happening right now. Uh, uh, these uh, uh, students are here and they are uh, watching this documentary, um, the BBC documentary right now inside uh, the college uh, campus. So, uh, the DYFI, the SFI had said that they will uh, be uh, uh, showing this documentary across the state. SFI saying that they will be showing it in campuses across the state. And now uh, well, it has already been uh, uh, showed in one of the campuses. The law college here uh, in Tiruvananthapuram has uh, screened uh, this documentary here. Right, so Neetu, as you're pointing out, and we can see those visuals behind you of the students actually watching this documentary. Who are the people who've organized the screening of this documentary? Is the college saying anything at all? Neetu, can you hear me? Okay, we seem to have lost that connection with my colleague Neetu, but as she was showing us those visuals behind her, and those are visuals coming in, from the Trivandrum Law College where students in fact are watching the documentary, that BBC documentary as we speak. So despite the centre blocking the access and the reasons that have been given, we are seeing the screening of this documentary happening at the Trivandrum Law College. And in fact, we are reporting from that very spot where this screening is happening and students are watching this documentary as we speak. This of course has resulted into a political war of words as well. I believe my colleague Neetu is now back with us. Neetu, essentially, if you can hear me this time around, I was asking who's organized the screening of this BBC documentary and is there any word coming in from the college so far? Now, see, uh, this is inside uh, the college campus, the law college campus here in Tiruvananthapuram. And the organizers are basically the uh, SFI uh, unit. The SFI law college unit has organized this, is what we are understanding. Uh, so, uh, uh, the SFI has 
already said that they will be screening this documentary across uh, the state in campuses and they have done their first uh, uh, screening here in law college the kerala uh, the sfi unit has uh, 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 shown this docu is showing this documentary here and right now we can see that this room full of uh, students is actually uh, watching the screening of this documentary in tiruvananthapuram right so neetu as you're pointing out the organizations like the dyfi and others said that this is their mark of protest any word that you're understanding of what is their plan and how many places do they plan to actually screen this documentary and what's the word coming in from the state government See, there is no word coming in yet from the state government, but we know that the DYFI and SFI are basically uh, affiliated to the CPM, the Students Wing, and the uh, Youth Wing. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, there is no official word coming in from the government yet, but they are aware of this. A law college in Tiruvannamalai has screening this. The SFI, uh, their plan is to screen this across uh, colleges, across universities, and the DYFI is also planning uh, to screen this. uh throughout uh, the state right so neeto as you're pointing out the dyfi and other organizations do plan to screen this documentary across the state but essentially what i'm trying to understand you're saying the state government as of now is silent there's no reaction coming in are the college authorities seeing anything at all cuz surely they also have a role to play they can stop the screening if they do want see uh, from what we are seeing here at the law college so far there has been no uh, action to stop this uh, because this, uh, the students are at the moment watching this documentary we are yet to uh, talk to the college authorities to find out whether they had any opposition to this and whether they had conveyed it uh, to the uh, sfi which organized this but uh, what uh, uh, we have not yet got word uh, from the uh, government law college authorities here uh, at, uh, we know that the sfi state unit has organize this and the screening is uh, progressing without uh, any problem at the moment so this is something similar that we saw in hyderabad now we seeing something similar in kerala the college is not saying anything the state government is not saying anything neetu but we are already seeing the bjp do you know up their ante we did see the tweet also a short while ago by the bjp president in kerala talk to us about the attack that's coming in from the bjp so the bjp has uh, uh, raised this issue mosv murlidharan has said that uh, there shouldn't be uh, the screening happening the chief minister should intervene and stop this because the highest court of the country has actually uh, said that these are not true and then you're going against uh, the court that is what the bjp has said uh, k surendran also coming out and saying that this should not be allowed and uh, they have the support of the pinrai vijayan government uh, but other than this on the ground Uh, so far we have not witnessed any protest uh, to this call for uh, showing this documentary and as we can see in one place the documentary screening is already happening right neetu i'll just request you to stay on with us so neetu is reporting for us from inside the trivandrum law college where the screening is happening i also have my colleague swastika who is now in fact joining us from hyderabad swastika help us understand and help our viewers also understand what's happening in hyderabad the where is the screening happening Well, first things first. The screening in question happened on the twenty-first of uh, January, which is a Saturday, and this was organized by a group called the Fraternity Movement here at the University of Hyderabad. In fact, it's at a North Shopping Complex, a prominent area with the students. Now, a registration of complaint was done by the ABVP. It is on that day itself. The ABVP says. that it is the college authorities the university authorities rather who have failed to crack down on this particular group and have not in fact issued any kind of dictact to the fraternity movement 